All right. Tom Lugan Bill. More no. like Tom Lugan No Chill as uh, Tom Lugan Bill goes in on Colorado and uh, the roster that Coach Prime has made. Brum, do we have these clips ready to go? Um, this comes from Next Round sure Live, do. a show that I love, actually, out of Alabama. Great guys, Next Round Boys are. Um, but this is out of Next Round Live. Here's what Tom Luganville had to say on Colorado. I think we're going to we're gonna finally see for all the hoopla and all of the hype uh, going into the offseason with Deion Sanders in Colorado, it does not mask the fact that they don't have any players on that roster. And you think you thought UMass was the worst roster in college football? It may be Colorado's. Now, I say that. Do they have a quarterback? Yes. Do they have two starting corners that could be NFL guys and one of them plays both ways? Yes. They are so devoid of talent up front on both sides of the ball. I don't know how they're going to keep their quarterback upright. Huh. Okay. Okay. Like I said, Lugan, wow. no chill. Straight wow. up saying uh just de- completely devoid like even hand waving away being like yeah they have a good quarterback in two NFL quarters like that's three of the hardest boxes to check but that's how shitty Tom Luganville thinks the Colorado uh lines are going to be however before we debate Aaron I want to offer a counter perspective this comes from some of your old uh workmates over there at CBS yep. Uh, this is one of my former neighbors actually growing up, the legend Randy Cross. Here's what he had to say and the rest of the CBS crew about Colorado. The jerk reaction would just see automatically as they were in the final last year. TCU opens up and goes crazy. I'm not going to discount what Deion Sanders is going to do at Colorado, and I think it gets started with a win, an upset win at TCU. Whoa! Okay, Randy. Woo-hoo! First of all, I need BJ's. You think I can rock BJ's suit? The game this weekend, maybe should I call him up? Say if you know, BJ said, fire. said that fire. always, always fresh, Mr. BJ. Um, um, okay, so I'm, so right there though, the only re- okay. So in one hand, you have Tom Luganville, very well respected, very yes. guy who knows the game, college football reporter. On the other hand, that is uh, Randy Cross, someone who is a college football Hall of Famer, an NFL Hall of Famer, the center for all of Joe Montana's uh, Super Bowl okay. teams. In fact, probably the biggest beefcake. I forgot to send this to Brum. But in my side piece, probably the biggest beefcake I've ever seen. But but either way, uh, so so you have two people that ostensibly know football that are coming away with completely different uh, takes here. And so the question mm-hmm. is, Aaron, who's right? Uh, I disagree with with Lugan Bill in the sense of like this is the worst roster besides UMass in the country. I I, I don't know if I can agree with that. I think there's there, there is talent on there, and he even went in to say like, yeah, they got you know, top DBs and a guy that obviously in, in Travis that's going to play both sides of football, like that automatically makes you a pretty good team. Like the skill is good. The quarterback's good. The receivers are are, are, are good. DBs mm-hmm. are good. Yep. I think the defensive line, they went in there and got some guys in the portal as well. Like I think his biggest beef is can that offensive line handle uh, the, 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 the conference that they're in, the, 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 the week to week grind. Like, that's, that's kind the of the issue. thing. Like who, who are they handling? Terrible. Who, who are the Pac-12 D lines? Roster, that, hold up. I'm it doesn't sorry. make you a terrible roster. It makes yeah. you a terrible offensive line. That doesn't. You can't just say, oh, they have an awful offensive line that can't protect the quarterback, so their roster sucks and they're not on the same level as UMass. Like, you can't make that statement. Just come and say, hey, man, I worry if they have an offensive line to protect their quarterback to be able to consistently move the ball up and down the field. You just can't say the whole roster is shit because the whole roster isn't shit. Dion did do a great job of weeding out a pretty bad roster from the year before, bringing in more talent to Colorado than they've had in years, four- and five-star guys. So, yes, it is a good roster that has to gel. And am I concerned about the offensive line? Yeah, I'm concerned about the offensive line. But that's one part of the entire pie, not the entire pie. Yeah, and and look, I want to be clear. Uh, I'm very high on TCU, yep. uh, as we're going to see on our uh, predictions. But... <laughs> But um, I – and I, so I think they beat Colorado, right? Like, I, I don't know yeah. if I think Colorado gets the five wins, but I don't know. The It just it, – it was it was oddly aggressive out of Lugan Bill, yeah. the, the, the worst roster in the country thing, especially, like you said, kind of cutting his own knees out from under him when then he talks about the NFL talent on yeah. the roster. But it wasn't just him. Mark Schleybaugh says that um that that well whatever he was saying he thinks Colorado is going to be really bad as well but that's where it gets weird because I guess I don't disagree because here I am saying I don't even know if they get the five wins I guess yeah. I'm really just taking exception with Lugabil saying that uh 
that, that they're the worst roster in the country. And, and look, you know who else took exception? Prime. Because if you watch the clip there, you could see on Instagram, he actually commented, which Coach Prime never normally responds, saying, wow, have you even been here to see any of the talent live? And that is kind of, I mean, that is, it's 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 a fair point. If somebody's going to take a shot, a, a, a shot that strong, and even I'll say this for Lugaville, the hoopla and hype line at the beginning seemed a little aggressive. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, like, okay. What, uh, Joel, I don't know. Joel Klatt. Who you know, you know, I don't always agree with a lot of stuff he said. But he Joel, believes in you know, it's, it's it's his alma mater. He's actually been there, and I was listening to one of his shows, and he talked about I I've been there, I've seen this team with my own eyes. Obviously, he's doing his research because they're going to be uh, covering them for the first two weeks of the season. And he said this is a good roster. Obviously, hmm. greatly improved from the, where they were last year. So I do agree with Dion on that. Like you can't come at me if you haven't seen us. Yeah, like, you can't come at me until you've been to a practice. Huh or been to a game and kind of see the way that our team is gelling and working together. And I'm not trying to defend Colorado in the sense of like, yeah, this is going to be a bold team. I think you and I both agree four wins would be a hell of a year for this team. And I think four wins is doable, which is four wins to be what they achieve. I think five is be a hell of a year. I think four wins needs to be there. Like I think four X is a good year. I think four X is doable. I think four, four wins is doable. Okay. I do agree. Five wins would be like, wow, that's a hell of a start. But, um, I, I do agree. It was very aggressive from Luke and Bill. Uh, Luke also say, knows <laughs> Luke's also knows high school recruiting better than a lot of people too. Like he's yeah. he is the high school guru, so he's seen these guys for two three years. He ranked them and gave them stars and all that good stuff. Uh, heading to their other universities. Uh, well, I mean, a lot of them are four or five stars. So I don't know. Do you call your own scouting into question at that point? Then, but. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, no, look, I, the only thing I'll say is I think you can talk shit though without going to practice as I never go to anybody's practice and I talk shit every day. So you can lose, but you're going to get a little blowback potentially. Oh.